Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to the Nerd Circle. Today we're talking about the functions of the organs of the digestive system. The tongue. The tongue is an organ. The function of the tongue is to help move the food around your mouth. The tongue allows you to swallow and is able to coat the food with saliva, enabling the food to be better digested in the stomach. The pharynx and the oesophagus. The role of the pharynx is to send food to the oesophagus and air into the lungs. The oesophagus undergoes a process called peristalsis. The muscles in the wall push liquids and food down into the stomach. Peristalsis is muscular contractions and relaxions, which push food forward. The liver. The function of the liver is to produce bile, which is a substance that breaks down fat. The cells in the liver contain enzymes that break down the food we consume. The stomach. The stomach's main function is to accept and then store the food. When the food enters the stomach, the glands produce stomach acid, which breaks down the food even further. Then muscles in the stomach move acid and food around, and the acid is able to kill the bacteria that can be consumed through either food or saliva. The gallbladder. The gallbladder's function is to store the bile, which is produced in the liver. The bile becomes more concentrated and more powerful in its ability to do work whilst it is stored in the gallbladder. When fats arrive in the small intestine, it is the gallbladder's job to release the stored bile, which helps break down the fat. This also counteracts the acid in the food derived from the stomach. The pancreas. The pancreas has two major functions. The hormones made by the pancreas balance the blood sugar level. The pancreas also contains digestive enzymes that break down the carbohydrates, fats and proteins. The large intestines. The function of the large intestine is to reabsorb water and balance the amount of fluid in the body. It also absorbs vitamins, stores the waste, and processes fibre. The small intestines. Another organ is the small intestine. Its function is to absorb most of the nutrients within the food we consume. The food breaks down into a liquid, and as it comes in contact with the blood vessels, the blood leaves the small intestines. The blood carries nutrients, minerals, etc., to the body. So that's all we have time for today. Tune in next time for another great report on body systems. Thank you and good night.